Hey everybody, Brian here from the Guitar Factory OC.com, and today I'm going to break down for you Folsom Prison Blues by Johnny Cash. This is a really easy song, it's a fun one, it only has three chords in the whole song. What I'm going to break down for you is that opening signature riff, as well as the strumming pattern that goes along with this, and the little solo in the middle. I've actually included a free PDF cheat sheet if you click the link below so you can be able to follow along to know how many times to play each chord when you go along with the whole entire song. Let's get into it. All right, that opening lick. All right, what we're gonna do here is second fret, A string, we're gonna strike that three times. Then we're gonna go to the D string first fret, strike that twice, come back to that A string once on the second fret, and then we're gonna hop to the low E string, and we're gonna go to the second fret, and we're gonna bend it down, let it release back up. So you're getting two notes essentially from that, and then the open E. That's that opening lick that everyone knows the minute they hear it. Let's go on to that strumming pattern and the chords that come along with the song. All right, this song has three chords. The E major, A major, and the B7. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing a certain strumming pattern each time those chords go around. And it comes from a pattern that's very common in country western and rockabilly. Um, it's like a boom chucka. Okay, so what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna do the E, the e chord for our example here in our first chord of the song, and we're gonna use the low open E by itself as the bass note or the boom. And then the chukka is the down up on the higher strings, the thinner strings there. And then we're gonna change the bass note out for this as we go to the A string, keeping your whole E chord down still, but go to that A string now, and that's your new bass note, and always follow with the down up. Bass, down, up. Then the A string, bass, down, up. Boom, chunk, up, boom, chunk. Now to add a really cool percussive element to it, we're gonna put a little bit of a palm mute down, resting our palm on the uh, bridge where the strings come out. And that gets that really cool, kind of dampened percussive sound. Now I do want to mention on the PDF cheat, cheat sheet, if you've downloaded that, every time uh, it shows the E chord, that's one measure, you're going to be doing this pattern, this is one measure, you do it twice. That's one measure right there. So every time you see a chord go by on that, it's this. So you're getting two alterations. Okay, when the A chord comes up, we're going to put, hold our A major down, use the A note as the bass now. The varied bass note now is going to be the E after that. And then go back to it. So stick keeping your A chord here, but A, E, A. Okay, the third chord is the B7, and we're going to make this a little trickier because we can't just hold our chord and move the bass notes with our right hand. We're going to actually have to move a finger to make this sound um, correct to the song. So B7 uses the A string as the bass, the down up. But now we move our middle finger over one string to the low E, back and forth. That was a little trickier. Take your time with it. Just get comfortable moving one finger while holding down the rest of that chord goes. But that's all three chords. E, A, B7. make up the entire song. Like I said, download that sheet, you'll know how many times to play each chord to follow right along with the verses and choruses and everything else. So let's look at the solo in the middle of the song. If you happen to liking my videos, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click like to the video, this way also you'll get notified when I drop new videos. All right, fun little solo in the middle here. Middle finger, let's go to the eighth fret of the B string and slide. So the nine, one pick, two notes, <laughs> sliding up. High E7, high E10, back to the seven on the E, back to the 10, and then back to the seven. That's phrase number one. 
Now we're gonna do it the same way, but just don't go back to the seven at the end. We basically leave one note. Out. Then back to the first phrase. And then the last phrase again. And that's how he starts it. Now, the next part is going to be this part uh, where it's picking out these kind of arpeggiated chords. Okay, what that is, I've simplified it a little bit from uh, the original song where he does a little bit more stretching on there. So if we just take the F chord shape and we slide the F chord shape, if you know that one, up to the seven, six, five, five. So you get a little bar here, seven, six, five, five. We're gonna hold this chord and pick the D. G, high E, come back to the B, and the G. So you get this. Just do that three times. And then, go up to this little D shape on the ninth fret and the 10th fret, nine, 10, nine, and do the same style of picking where it's G, B, high E, B, G. So you got. So one, two, three. Okay, whole solo. fun solo, especially if it's one of your first ones to learn. It's great to have that one down. Take your time with it. Have fun. Hope you enjoyed. Hey, if you want to improve on your strumming, chord switching, slides, all the techniques I go through on these songs, head over to the guitarfactoryoc.com. I put together full guitar courses, mini courses, challenges, games, all kinds of things to help you grow as an overall guitar player. The uh, link's in the description below.